Hey, what's happening guys? Today we got a little project for a friend. So I have this friend, we'll call him Barry, who lives in Florida, and he likes to make little alcohol-fueled rockets and launch them off. And he was tired of burning the hairs off his fingers, igniting them, so he wanted me to make him a little controller board here, so that when you press the launch button, you get a 10 second countdown, and then it will fire or relay. So I'm gonna put that together, and then we'll write some code and we'll ship this off to Florida. Alright, so I'm wiring this thing up just using a little bit of a, a proto board here. Make it easy in case he wants to change anything later on. And I am checking each individual connection after I wire it to make sure it's correct. If you want to be sure everything's going to work the first time, that's the way you want to do it. Uh, I've used a little piece of sticky tape to hold things down made a couple mistakes I had to go back and correct them which is why I check everything one piece at a time you can go through make sure that all your connections are good and you know if they are everything's copacetic then there won't be any surprises when you power it up and it'll work you want to check to make sure nothing's shorted out where it shouldn't be and everything is connected where it should be just good attention to detail keep it simple stupid that's all you need to think about when you're wiring something like this up. Keep straight lines, keep it simple, pay attention to detail. Okay, here's the code, and keep in mind I am no programmer, but it works. So we're using the wire because we have the I squared C library. Of course, we have our OLED reset. We set up the OLED here. Go through all that. Then we set A0 as an input. That's the input from our potentiometer, which controls the on time for the relay. We set uh, pin 2. That is the pin for the button. It is pulled high with the internal pull up. And pin 3 we set as an output. That is what is going to trigger our relay. Of course, I always have serial on for debugging purposes. Then we're going to print an intro message here. It's just going to say ready. Then we're going to read the potentiometer. We're going to map that value to somewhere in between 500 and 2000, which is a half a second to two seconds. We're going to look for that button push. When it finds that button push, which will be zero, meaning we've grounded out that button, then it's going to do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's going to say fire. It's going to write high to the relay for as long as that hold on delay tells it to and then it's going to turn it off. It's really that simple, folks. Okay, here it is, it's ready to roll. There's our relay for firing, and you can see there's a tiny little uh, LED there that'll show you when it's ready. So you can adjust the delay by turning that potentiometer. I have it right about in the middle, which give it around a second and a quarter on time. Press the button, 10, nine, eight, seven, six five four three two one fire leds on off and we're back to normal uh, i'm gonna grab a thing here we'll go down to the minimum time and we'll try it ten nine eight seven six five four three <coughs> two one that's the minimum time, and we'll take it up to the maximum time, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, firing, and off. And that's it. 
a simple prototype rocket launcher. Hope you enjoy it, my friend. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.